Tell me if you agree. Greatest basketball movie of all time I've ever seen. Greatest basketball movie. Hoosiers. Makes Michael Jordan look like shit. Absolutely. It's best. <laughs> I mean, that one moment when Salman Khan was watching SRK, couldn't agree with him more. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reaction to some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 Starring a couple of unknowns. unknowns. Yeah, yeah. Unknowns that uh, uh, really never made it after this. We're watching Coochie Coochie Hota Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I called it the first I time. I think we, you we, did. The very first reaction song. Reaction. I, don't, I don't know what it I was. I think you corbinized it with Coochie Coochie. Coochie Coochie Hota Hey. Yeah. Uh, but obviously it came out in 1998, starring Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Right. And Ronnie McCurgy. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, and a couple other people as well. And I people. had totally forgotten that Salman Khan so did was I. in it. And so he showed up, I was like, hey, hey. we're watching the Salman <laughs> Khan film. Uh, so yeah, and Salman Khan and then a couple others like Johnny Lever and right. um, um, uh, 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 Anupam uh, uh, Kerr. Kerr. Is that correct? Which is probably who we've seen in many things, but not, many things now. not anything like he did in this. Correct. <laughs> it's usually a lot more serious. Yeah, I know. And so it was, it was super interesting. But uh, it's directed, uh, written, and uh, produced, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it, it, I think so. Yash. It says Yash Johar produced oh. it, but it's... Uh, Basically everything else. Strict, written and directed by Kieran Johar, which is, I believe, our f not our first film, because obviously my name is Khan. Yes. But our first big... The, the kind of films he's known for. Correct. Uh, of of his. Yeah. That we've seen. Obviously, we've seen a ton of songs. We've seen, obviously, Coffee with Koran. Right. This is going to be a spoiler review. You've, you've all seen, seen this film. <laughs> Every single one of Every you. Every single one of you. It came guys. out in 1998. Uh, you probably, so, if you're, it, like... You've probably seen it about 20 times. Yeah, and Drani said, I've seen this film probably 200 times. Did you times. watch it with her? Yes. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. So, I... <sighs> I loved it. And the best part about it was the way I went into the film because that's mm -hmm. that really is a big, and it, getting some help from that, from the stupid family and from you, when they give us the heads up of, okay, here's what you need to expect. It's, it's a huge difference because the spectrum of possibilities that come out of India are so diverse mm -hmm. that if you're expecting a film that's gonna be on one level and it reaches at a different level, you can completely miss it for mm -hmm. all the wrong reasons and the prep I had and I don't remember where the thought came from if you said it but the prep in my mind was it may have been with Indrani I said she said it's like this it's like this I said so is it like Greece and she said yes think Greece put your expectations more along Greece than you would like a an Oscar winning film and it it lived up it lived up to it for me what did you think I the first half was a lot more challenging for me to get through than the second half. Because oh, the second half was more grounded. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's, remember in DDLJ, what saved it, obviously, from, from the essence of Shah Rukh Khan and, <laughs> and DDLJ was Kajol, right? That's and right. her groundedness. And the first half, it was, it was both of them. It was all of them. It was. It was <laughs> all great. the time. It was great. Up here. <laughs> Like, not even no, remotely was... trying to be... Be And everybody was turned up to a level. Yes. Everybody. And like I said, uh, I, I went into this, I said, sent him a text right when I said, okay, this is what we're going to watch. Expect DDLJ, low expectations in terms of... The like, critically festival, festival, critically acclaimed uh, films, right? Go in expecting to basically... My, my criteria for this is, did you end up enjoying it? Correct. I did. Yeah. I did end up Good. enjoying it. Good. If I was looking at this from a critical lens, I would tear this to fucking shreds. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, like, you know, in Nyakon, right? With, with, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the expectations we had for that were, this is a great Roof film. Roof. Thespian Attic. One obviously, of the greatest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, it didn't live up to that, but it wasn't, like, in terms of bad. Correct. If I was expecting that in terms of greatness, in terms of Thespian Attic. Oh, my stars. You would hate this film. Yeah. Absolutely. You no, would you know, it. it would be like going in to see Apocalypse Now and seeing Greece. Yeah. 
That's not fair to Greece. No. Or Apocalypse Now. No. Yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I definitely enjoyed the second half more because my the, the I, somebody said I was on um, a Twitter space this morning, and somebody said is he said it was an unpopular opinion, but he said I think the reason SRK Cajol films work so well is because her. Okay. And she grounds most of everything. So this is interesting. You say yeah. that. While we were driving over, and I do believe I'm on the first half, I'm following Indrani's pronunciation. I believe we've been mispronouncing her name, and that it's Kajol. Kajol. Okay. Yeah, we we've, we've called her Kajol forever, but I believe it's actually Kajol. 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 And I was talking with her about this, and I said, okay, so if I was watching this, and th at the time, right, and mm -hmm. let's say this was like the second film for both of these actors, yeah, what I would say is, and I, I put this to her. Two things I said. I said, I don't know if it's because I'm hetero and it's just an unfair thing that I'm more attracted to watch the female in the film than I am the guy and be emotionally connected to her. It just depends. Uh, it does depend. But with this, for me, uh, taking nothing away from SRK because I really liked him and he had grounded moments as well. Yeah, he did. But for me, she was the soul of this oh, thing. Oh, 100%. And if it was early, like if we saw her early in her career, I would also say this because I asked Indrani, I said, is she known for being like an actress or a movie star. And she instantly said, actress. She can be a movie star, but she's a good actor. I said, yeah, because in this film, if this was all I knew about her, I would tell people, don't underestimate this woman because this woman can act. Yeah. And her, I don't blame Karen Johar for the amount of times he just did this on her face because when she's reacting to something or she's hurt or she's confused. She looks great crying. She has the most beautifully expressive, believable face. Yeah. I don't think there's anybody that you could point to on film yeah. and say they're any better at expressing genuine emotion with their yeah. face. Everything. So I can't, I, I can't remember My Name is Khan so much because I know I was impressed by Shah Khan then. And so but I can't, he, he I, was incredible. I that. can't say that it's been her every time because of that, but obviously DDLJ, the same thing. Yeah. I, she was by far outside of obviously the songs. The songs are incredible uh, and so, so fun. Um, but yeah, she's always the one. <laughs> it's just the first half <laughs> just annoyed me a little I, bit. And I, actually, and I think it was mostly Karen Johar's writing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, Karen, but I don't like it. <laughs> I actually, I like, um, I liked this a little bit more than DDLJ. No. I did. No. Yeah. No, not for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I would no, And I, I love DDLJ. I would watch DDLJ more because, as opposed to, it's just it, it, sometimes it's it's too much. The the Karen Johar's style, along with the acting of the time. So that's what I think DDLJ. Obviously, it's not, I mean, um, Shower okay. Khan is almost the same in terms of the heightness of the, a lot of times. Sure. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, he actually, I think he was bigger in DDLJ. Uh, yes, uh, but it was mostly. For the most part, just him. The rest of them, the dad, Kajol, were a lot of times a well, lot more grounded. But the, of all of them, the one that was the least goofy was Ryan Kurji, who was... Yes. Can we just say it right now? Drop dead beautiful. And... My she, goodness. She always kills, even though this was obviously not... All the other stuff we've seen of her is a lot more thespianatic. Yes. She still killed it, and she's killed still it. always believable. She's always great, and uh, she's just such a such a beautiful. I think woman. we say that any time we've ever seen something yeah. of hers. Yeah, she's always just really, really good. She really is. Um, and so, yeah, liked her in that. But yeah, that's why I would I picked DGLJ over that. And that's one of those where it would be like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with that. But the second half definitely. Uh, it, it, I was so glad when they went forward in time. I'm like. Please drop the act, Cajol. Please drop the act. Please drop. Okay, she dropped the act. Of course, Good. you knew that was going. You knew she was going to go. <laughs> well, you knew from five minutes in yeah. what the entire story was going to be. Of course, like, of course. Okay, so he always loved right. Cajol. Yeah, uh, and it's basically. But I got to tell you, oh my goodness, it all came back up. It it really shows you how much I really care about Cajol because I remember how defensive I got about someone making fun of her unibrow. Yeah. Right. So the moment comes, and they run and meet each other in the field. And he says, I love you. And I, I audibly went, oh, I was so happy. With the, the sign, basically? No, with, he's there talking to Kajol, but you find out he's rehearsing. Oh, gotcha. For Tina. And that happened like three times. <laughs> and <laughs> poor Kajol. She, I got so mad. I switched the camera back over to me with Andrani. Like, no. 
No, I don't like this. No, <laughs> this is not okay. So I, and the other thing about her capacity, and we've mentioned this to her before, in just reacting to her songs, she can be absolutely adorable, cute, and sexy. Mm -hmm. In the same film she did it. Uh, when she did the charades, when she was doing the, the yeah. I think it's from Rangila, I, uh -huh. I think is what they were doing, which obviously I haven't seen, but I recognized both the films that they were trying to do when they said the names of them. She was yeah, extremely sexy at that Very time. Sexy. It, was, it was the old trope of the girl, it was like a big 90s, 80s trope. When the girl's a tomboy, she's ugly to everyone and nobody wants to be with her, and then she becomes a woman, right. and she gets more feminine. It's an old trope that's been yep. in films forever. forever. <laughs> so, you know, it was coming, and obviously this was a, a groundbreaking film, especially for bringing Western even more so than obviously DDLJ did. Yeah. Uh, Karen Johar brought <laughs> all the 90s stereotypes from the West. And all I've of them. Seen. All of them. And I, oh, here's my gripe with you, Karen Johar. And there's, I have a few. Uh, but <laughs> why go all in on basketball? <laughs> why? You, no one on set clearly knew how to play basketball. Oh my or, ever, stars. or ever held a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Ever! She was a way better dribbler than SRK. Oh my, she, Sorry, bro. If you've seen The Office, do you remember when Stanley dribbled in the, <laughs> when they were playing The Warehouse? <laughs> That's how they dribbled. But Shah Rukh Khan was playing oh, like this. So it's bad. Like, He's it's traveling. Like, it's it's terrible. like if Americans in the 90s or 80s did a cricket film and no one knew what the fuck how to play cricket. <laughs> And we're not crazy basketball players, but obviously as Americans, no. you grew up you playing grow up and playing you know and how watching. to shoot and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. And there was like four <laughs> scenes. Oh, I wanted a basketball at the beginning. It's like, I got here, I'm like, Courtney, you have any basketballs? Because I want to hold a basketball. For he this was like, the, the big trick was he threw it over her head. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh my God. I don't know why you went all in on basketball. When he's behind her and he can't steal the ball from her, I'm like, <sighs> really, man? You can't get that? I don't. I just don't understand why they went all in on it. I, I, I loved it. You didn't. You could have been just like, <laughs> I have a basketball, whatever. You you did like four times. <laughs> no, they they because it was that that was the bonding place. Of yeah, their but friendship. it could have been cricket, could have been field hockey, something they actually know how to soccer. No, you know that's exactly even though, why. Even though he did a. I think we saw it in the song. He did like a terrible bicycle kick. No, that's, that he, we did. We love that. That's exactly why. There was a lot of this that was incorporating the West yeah. into it. Even the, even the comments of, I love that moment. And I loved both of those actors, the principal and the teacher. Mrs. so Mrs. quirky. Mrs. Branaga or whatever her name was. Yeah, was very, I love them. It's very 10 things I hate about you, S. Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. And I love that he's calling out all the people for the short skirts. Yeah. But she's also got a short skirt. And she's like, dude, get with the times, man. What are you? It's so interesting seeing him play an extremely yeah. quirky, Goof. over the top Oh my goodness. When he, when he wakes up and he's, uh, this happened. And it was one of those things where I was like, oh my goodness, this is so freaking bad, but I love it. When he wakes up and he somehow mistakenly put his eye covers on his feet. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. And I loved it. Yeah, so I, that's one of the reasons I, I did enjoy it because most of the time I was smiling. Yeah. Not always for good reasons, but like smiling like, oh, there's this lots is, of Verona. This is dumb. Lots of Verona. <laughs> this is extremely dumb and dated. Yeah. Even more so than DDLJ because they went full in on the, the attire, the, oh, yeah. the, the lingo, the, <laughs> oh my God. The bad guitar playing. Oh, uh, the bad everything playing. <laughs> uh, but then like Salman Khan comes in. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Say it. No. <laughs> it seems with SRK and him, I was like, oh my god. Like he comes in, he's like, hey, hey dude. dude. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> oh, it's. It was it was, oh. it was it was a lot for me at points. So good. Uh, like I said, if I was looking at this through any other lens, as opposed, like oh yeah, like and I know some people get frustrated at that when I when we've said that about like this DDLJ. But if you want us to think of a film like that, you need to tell us first. Absolutely, and this actually happened with um, this happened for me with uh, when we reacted to the You Are My Sunia. Did you re you read it? I rewatched it. Yeah, because. Um, uh, I, I actually, I did a, a full new reaction on my channel and I got blocked so nobody could even see it. Do you dispute it? But 
No, I, I just, I it, let it go. Oh no, it'll unblock in 30 days. Like 30 days. Yeah. Um, but what I, I, I was talking to Indrani about it, and this is exactly the same thing, where, where when the stupid family can give us a kind of a framework for a film and let us know what it's gonna be before we go in, not just genre, but style, because mm -hmm. that's a big, big deal. Sometimes it happens when we react to things. And I, I realized after I watched it a second time, I realized, oh wow, I was in a, I don't know what kind of frame of mind I was in. I don't know if I was, cause there's, there's stuff that goes on in our personal lives that, mm -hmm. or even a reaction. We may have done a review mm -hmm. where we both disagreed about it and I wasn't happy with it. And then we go right into a happy song and I'm not flipping a switch. It I'm does happen. I'm still in the bad place. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm, um, you know, so whatever it was, I really did. I I watched it. And went, yeah, I don't know where I was. That was a disservice to the song because when I watched it in the right headspace, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I, I I liked the quirkiness. I'm like, what was wrong with me that I didn't like the cheese in this? And this as well for me is like when we love those music videos that have the cheese. This is a film of cheese. It's a film full. I mean, of it's cheese. just dripping cheese. Yeah, it is, and the good kind. Yeah, and. <laughs> Like I said, this is probably one of the most Bollywood Bollywood films we've seen, because Kieran Johar, yeah. I think, just he's the definition of a lot of people think of when they think of Bollywood. Right. Yeah. In terms of everything's over the top. Right. There's a million songs, and there were, and every single song in this believability. Yeah, every single song in this was incredible. I loved. I did every too. single song, and, and, and the score, and that helps because, like, when you're when you when you're everything's over the top, they get into these songs, and you, it's a nice break. Well, and there's been some movies that were saved because of the musical numbers mm -hmm. that we've watched, where it was like, I didn't like the film, but the music numbers helped me get through it. Yeah, uh, and so that that definitely took place. Salman Khan, he was just, he was a little much for me in there. <laughs> and I know this is our second film of his, but this, oh. like, everybody's, like, stereotypes of him. I was like, okay, I see it now. Because yeah. we had only seen one, and we were like, he wasn't bad. Correct. He wasn't bad. This is, I think, what most people are talking about when they see him. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, this is only a second film. I'm not going to judge the guy. We're going to see not at all. a ton of more of his films. Yeah. Uh, but this is, I was like, okay, I see it. Uh, <laughs> I see, I see, kind of see what you're no, talking about. No, there were, some, there were moments very with, Not early just on. him. Shao Kahn. Oh, with everybody. Kajol in the beginning. I don't know how many times watching it, I went, oh, wow. It was interesting. Oh, wow. This was our first time seeing, I believe, Johnny Lever as well. Uh, we've seen him. Uh, he's worked it, with... Well, in a, in a, like a, the in full a film. film, yeah. You've seen him in, in clips, but he worked with Shah Rukh Khan a lot in the '90s, yeah. And he's like a, a comedic legend, and so he was a very quirky. Oh over my the stars! Top. Way over the top. Yeah, very over the top, just like everyone else. The dosen. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. yeah. Every single person. Um, but it was, like I said, my my criteria for this was: did I enjoy it? And I did. Yeah, I did. Too. I did, especially in the second half, because it, it there was enough groundedness from Kajol. That I, I was like, okay, I'm rooting for her. And, and I like her. Yes, and at the end The kid was a little annoying to me. And though. at the oh she was annoying at, to me. At the end, I I got uh, a little bit frustrated, but then I understood. Like SRK got there, he opens the door and she's there, and then he started to walk away. And this shows you how invested I was in the movie. He starts to walk away and I yell at the TV. And I said, What are you doing, man? She's right there! Look at, turn around! Sharuk, what are you? I got so mad. Indrani's laughing. I said, "Is he gonna just let? No, is he gonna let her? Is he gonna make her go all the way down and have to say something?" But I liked that it went the direct, not believable at all. Mm -hmm. The whole way it ends is so not, especially when Salman Khan's character's like, "I know you don't love me. You love him. You guys should get married. Let's have a wedding." And they, hey, congrats, they, SRK. They have the same wedding. The same wedding right there, that moment. And he's totally cool with it. He's like, all right. He's, he's singing dancing. <laughs> I'm so happy right I now. I loved it. I wish the world was that way. So, uh, Oh, and I, did, I didn't want to go without mentioning one of my favorite parts. Uh, the very beginning. Uh, when Ronnie McCurgy died really slowly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> off of some pregnancy <laughs> complication. <laughs> It was a pregnancy complication. Right. That she, she was lost able to, all of her blood. She was able to write so many letters, all these letters. To say goodbye, and yeah. then she was looked totally healthy, and then was just she looked great. dead. Yeah. <laughs> she looked amazing. I was expecting her in that hug with SRK to just go, eh. <laughs> eh. 
And they got the blood color right. Did you notice? I didn't. Yeah, I wasn't did. focused on that. No, they got the blood color right. <laughs> but all in all, yeah, for me, oh, this man. is one of my favorites. If this was, I would be excited. If I turned on the TV and this was on, I'd be giddy happy watching this one again. Yeah, I would still put uh, DTLJ. I love DTLJ. This one. Uh, in terms of watchability, I think that one's a lot more. But yeah, it, this one's this one's literally oh, for me just also like fun that. fact. You remember when uh, we reacted to one of these songs? You were my best friend, yeah, right? Remember right. that one? Uh, and I said Stephanie had a pen pal, and that song was on a tape yes, I remember that, that. that they made. Right. It turns out they sent the whole album, and she didn't realize until she started watching because she was like, "I recognize all these." So they just sent her the, the whole album, the whole Kuch wow. Kuch the High album, when she was like eight or nine. And so she, wow, she had been, because it was like 1999 or something like that. Yeah. So it makes sense yeah. that that person would send the entire well, album. And the other thing before we close, we had mentioned this just a second ago. I said one sentence about how good the score was. I really appreciated the use of the themes that were repeated. Yeah. The, 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 the repeated use of two or three musical motifs were really strong and connected me emotionally very very quickly i was surprised that's one thing about the film that for me was more and it may be because i'm just becoming more and more acclimated to appreciating these two together mm -hmm. but i was more emotionally invested in this than i even was in ddlj mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons for me it's just a, gotcha. a tad a tad above it for yeah, me is for that sure. emotional connection yeah absolutely um well let us know uh what the next srk i kind of want to watch i kind of want to watch them all so we can like rank them, yeah. Like everyone else has Absolutely. seen them, even though everybody's like, they're. I think we. I think we know now. I think we're like at the place where, if it's an SRK Kajol film, I know what mindset we know what I'm to, supposed we, to go we into. Know, yeah, we know what to expect. And I think so. Um, so I'm sure all of you have seen all of them. And you know, there's only what seven, right? Yeah. That they've actually seen a bit yeah, in together. Done it together. Uh, that would be interesting, just so you can see, because I know. I think I know what the next one everybody's gonna say is. Yeah, that's you know, a, K3G. K3, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or K3G. Is it K3G or K3G? I, I forget. What. I think it's K3G. I forget. Um, but we know. Time. You've all been... But it was funny. I got a lot of messages about... But that's the next not one. not ready yet. I think we are now. But that's the next one. Because people want us to watch this the, one. Because there's, I think, references in that. Is that, the one, is that the one with the sexy number I love where they're in front of the lips? No. Oh. That, that is... Um, that's the one with Salman Khan where they're brothers. Oh, the one I'm talking about okay. is with Amitabh Bakshan, his wife, Rithik. Karina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that I remember. I just, I'm looking forward to watching that number again. I love that sexy lip number. It's also Kieran Johar. Uh, ah! So, there. We're ready. Bring it on. Let us know. Bring it on. What the next SRK Kajol film we should watch is down below.